Okay, today we're going over the parts of a horse. So we have old Cheyenne here as our um, handy dandy prop. Cheyenne's a nice sweet old soul. But we're gonna start with kind of the external parts and pieces. So if you're into horse judging, or if you're gonna show or raise horses, these will probably be some important things to know. So we're gonna start up at the top here. So the part right up, and she's got a little ouchy, so just ignore that for now. It's been treated, she's taken care of. The top part right here behind their ears is the pole pole of the horse and coming out from the pole we've got this nice big piece of hair right here that piece of hair is called the forelock some people might shave it off completely some people will braid it some people will just kind of let it chill as Cheyenne's has done here middle part here we've got our forehead would make logical sense we have our ears some horses don't like their ears messed with we have our eye. In horses, we like to have a big, bright, intelligent eye. We've got our nose. On the bottom part of the nose here, we have our nostrils. We like horses to have a nice, wide, flaring nostril. We've got our muzzle. Coming around kind of more to the side of the horse here. Still sticking to its head. Right in here, this would be considered the cheek. Coming back behind the cheek here, this kind of indentation right there, we call the throat latch, which is where kind of the bottom part of our halter is going to sit just in front of that. Right up in here, we've got the neck, an important part we forgot to make a card for. This piece right in here, all this hair coming down, is called the mane, M-A-N-E can't believe we forgot a card for the mane. But then we move back here. This pointed part, kind of the top part of the spine that comes between the horse's shoulders. This is the, get too many cards. This is the withers. This is the part where we measure how tall the horse actually is. Coming back from the withers right in here, we've got the back of the horse, which is where our saddle would actually be sitting. As we move back, we've got kind of this rounded area right in here. This would be our hip and our croup for our animal, for our horse. Back in here, we've got the tail. Tail. In pretty much all horses, you want them to have a nice, long, flowing tail. Cheyenne doesn't too bad. Kind of moving back down here, this area of muscle in the horse right here is called the quarter. So quarter horses are usually gonna have a large usually a nice booty or big quarter, but that's not actually how they got their name. It's from running a quarter of a mile the fastest. This little bump of a muscle we have right here is called the stifle. You can see kind of where it sticks out right in here. As we move down our back leg, this bone that we've got going through here would be considered the shank. This bulky muscle that we've got right here that sits on top of the shank is called the gaskin. This would be the outer gaskin. If we were to come and look on the inside of her leg, Cheyenne doesn't really have an inside part to her gaskin right here, but this is actually the inside gaskin. So big time muscled up like quarter horses and things like that, they're gonna have a lot of bulge and flare to the inside and outside. Poor Cheyenne, she's not a halter horse. She really doesn't. And she's kind of a nice sweet old soul. She's getting older. Continuing our track down the back leg, this pointy part right here, this joint is called the hock. H-O-C-K, not to be confused with the bird. We get the point. Moving down from our hock right here, we have the cannon bone. This long bone right in here. The joint that comes next after the cannon bone is the pasture, which is right in here. After, or kind of sitting here on the back of their pasture, this little flowy hair, we've got the fetlock. Most people are going to clip that off especially in show horses, unless you have big draft horses, which you want a nice flow. And then of course we've got the hoof. We're not gonna get into the parts of the hoof today. We'll save that for another time. As far as our sexes on horses, if we look here, Cheyenne is a mare. We've got her vulva up in here and her teats would be, I don't know if we can see, right down in here. If we had a male horse, we would look right up in here, and we should have a sheath sitting right here. And if it is a gelding, his testicles have been removed. If it is a 
stud or stallion. He should also have his testicles back behind his sheath. This part right in here is called the flank. As we move into kind of this midsection as a whole, we call it the barrel or the big center part of the horse. Not actually the belly, we call it the barrel. Right in here we have the horse's ribs. The part which we will put the saddle, uh, connect the saddle to the horse would be the girth, so it's where the girth of the saddle actually goes. Kind of makes sense. This section as a whole from one end to the other end, the bottom part of the horse, we call the underline. The forearm would be the front part of the leg. We have the knee. And then from here, the rest of the leg is the same as the back. We have the cannon, we have the pasture, we have the hoof. Moving our way back up to the front of the horse here, we've got our chest and these little bulky muscles right here are our pectorials. So there you can see in a nutshell, the different parts of our horse.